Hi, we are Mixpanel. We want to share with you our vision for the future of product analytics. Let's talk about how we got here. Let's start with the humble dashboard. Dashboards are effective at communicating data because they bring different views together, offering a simple heads-up display which summarizes data of interest. By exposing a few simple controls, like filters for specific segments or comparing different periods of time, dashboards offer surface-level analysis for everyone. Mixpanel's dashboards go further, empowering everyone to click on a metric and drill into any aspect of the data. This enables organizations to nimbly answer ad hoc follow-up questions, going deeper than any dashboard can. Most dashboards only tell you what happened. Mixpanel tells you why. Trusted, accessible dashboards are how Mixpanel democratizes access to data. Making data useful is the key to cultivating a self-serve analytics practice for companies of any size. But there's a flip side here. When everyone can create dashboards, there are a lot more dashboards. With more data comes more noise. As organizations grow their self-service culture, it becomes hard to standardize, hard to separate what's important and what's actionable from everything else. These dashboards are still core to Mixpanel's platform and approach, but now we're taking your analysis further with our innovative approach to metric trees, a home for you to craft the strategy for your product's operating system. Metric trees document how detailed metrics feed into key results, creating a shared understanding of your product's goals for everyone at the company. This includes wrangling the data you do have and planning for the data you don't yet have. Let's take a look. Here, we're looking at a metric tree from a video streaming company. We can see how specific metrics like watch time, browsing behavior, and search activity feed into our most important result, new subscriptions. Mixpanel can help us examine these relationships, showing us the correlations and trade-offs between different metrics and providing opportunities for us to identify areas we can impact. We can also see the data we don't have yet, like partner revenue or creator engagement. Importantly, we see all the owners for each of these metrics, making accountability clear and highlighting the areas where cooperation is required to achieve our company's goals. Soon, you'll be able to embed those goals right into your metric tree, so you can track progress for your company's most important initiatives. Taking a closer look at the data, we observe that search behavior doesn't correlate with subscriptions. That gives us an area to dig into. Clicking into the search block shows me that the metric is trending down from the prior period. Let's drill into a more detailed view of the search metric to get a better sense of when it started to falter. The timeline here across the x-axis of this chart has some annotations that share the context of recent changes that we made to search, which gives us a clue as to what might be impacting this metric. Because we want to learn more about this downward trend, we'll use Mixpanel's session replay to view the replays of users engaging with the search feature right around the time we see the engagement dip. These replays show us exactly what the end user saw and did in our app. After watching a few of these sessions right at the moment of interest, we can see that users who are getting no search results quickly bounce and disengage with our app. This seems like an area we can make some improvements on. Even if we can't find results for the user's exact search term, we should still recommend videos for the user to watch. We will add this idea to the logbook for this metric so everyone on our team can see our decision-making process. Now let's test the idea using Mixpanel's feature flags and experiments. We already have a new draft of the No Results page, one that includes featured content, and Mixpanel can help us roll this feature out to a subset of our end users. Using Mixpanel's Feature Flags module, I can simply target 10% of my user population to be eligible for this experiment and deploy these two variants such that a targeted group of my end users will get this new experience in real time. We'll fast forward about a week so we can analyze the results using Mixpanel's dedicated experiments. Here, the data clearly shows that displaying recommended videos on empty search pages keeps users engaged in our platform longer, making them less likely to bounce, and points at impacting our subscription metric with statistical significance. This is fantastic news and exactly the kind of impact we were hoping for. Therefore, we can declare this experiment a success and deploy this feature to all of our end users with confidence that it will work to make an impact on our key metrics. In just a few clicks, Mixpanel helps us to ship this feature to 100% of our end users, which we'll notate in our logbook, giving us the right tools to ladder this project back into our broader strategy. We've seen how we can turn data into momentum with Mixpanel. Mixpanel is the engine for continuous innovation that turns every customer interaction into your next strategic move. 